All right. Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this lovely Monday. What we got? We got less than four days till Christmas. Holy crap. Like things are running up so fast. Looks like they're going to close down Europe now, they're saying. UK shut down. That's not really good news for the market. Not really good. And also, the, everything across the board is down big time. I mean, I, I'm just looking over here. I mean, airlines are taking a huge hit. Oil's taking a big hit. But, you know, obviously, Zoom's doing pretty well because they're going to benefit from it. Looks like they're going to be around for a while. But banks are up doing pretty well also on it. Looks like that's doing pretty well. So we're going to go around do some shopping across the uh, board. Listen, it is the week before Christmas. I don't think you're going to see any big fireworks that are going on unless, you know, I've been doing this for 25 years. It's routine, but we're on unprecedented times that's going on right now with this coronavirus going this late. Probably the best summer I have ever had in the history of trading next to probably the financial crisis we had back in uh, 09, 08. But, you know, it looks like this, this, is, this is pretty crazy. But there are a lot of stocks that are benefiting from it. There's a lot of them going to take a big hit. So I think today's going to be a good short opportunity on some brand name stocks. I think people are going to start panicking depending on the news. But the good thing is I heard they came out with an $800 billion relief package. They didn't sign it yet, but the news likes that. So anyway, regarding about what happened on Friday, first of all, I know we have a lot of new people are joining us this week here at Cyber Trade University. If you're here, log in into the trading room, not on YouTube. Please keep in mind, you are here just to watch. You want to see what everyone else is doing. We don't tell you what to buy. We don't tell you what to sell. We, you, we teach you how to trade. We show you how to stop losing money, not how to make money. The winners take care of themselves. So just sit back and see if the other traders, how they're doing. And if it's something that you like, then you do it. You know what I mean? By the way, if you're watching YouTube or you watch this on a recording, just click on the bottom, like us, friend us. You can always do a trial for $9. Uh, for a week in there. So anyway, we're going to go back and check out what's happening in today's markets. But before we do that, I want to go over some of the stocks that we did trade on Friday because we had a couple of good hits. Great morning run up on FCL, by the way. So FCL has been a fun, fun stock. Uh, this stock literally ran from 840 all the way shot up in pre-market to about 920. Did a little bit of a retrace. Had a made of Fausto flag. Popped it to 980. That was a really, really nice move. SWI is another one. It was a great short. Listen, I talked about this all the time. Remember I tell you that you want to learn how to swing trade? Hell, if you even want to learn how to options trade, how could you even know what to trade if you don't even know what's happening over the course of the day? Look at the long-term chart of this stock right here. Look what happened you know, with this gap down, okay? Stock goes up Look from here. It went from 17 from July, went all the way to 24. Great move. And then one day it drops down to 24 to 21. Great. Okay. Now you're like, oh my God, I can't take a loss. Come back the next day. Boom. Thing drops down to 19. Oh, you know what? I, it's got to come back. It's a great company. Wake up the next morning. Boom. Down to 18, down to 17. And you wake up one morning and boom, it's down to 14. Now, what do you do? Okay. So. If you knew what was happening over the day trade, just like what happened on Friday, which was a phenomenal short, guess what? You got crushed. You really got crushed. So that's what you have to look at as being a very, very good swing trade investor by first learning how to day trade first. All right. And and please, you know, I get people that think that this word is like a dangerous, ugly word. Oh, you're going to day trade? Well, would you want to have a, a job? Whatever. I don't know why people look at as, as a, a, you know, that, that, that word has been tarnished back in 2000 when we had the financial cr uh, crash. It's okay to say that you are a trader, okay? Don't take it in a bad way. The reason why people, you know, look at it as a bad way because they tried it and they blew up their accounts. It's the only reason why. But I think now people are starting to catch on. It's like Bitcoin. You know, now people are starting to respect it a little bit more. They're like, oh, really? You do it? You make money doing it? Well, depends who trained you. Anyway, let's go back and look at another stock right here. AMPE is another one. Had a really nice move. This stock has just been going up really nice and steady. Uh, it was a nice little move. It was on the slow side, but it did go from a buck eighty to about two forty. The chart it looks pretty good, but when you're sitting there trading over the course of the day, it's like watching paint grow. I'm gonna put it on the watch list AMPE because it is really doing a really nice trend. Um, you could see it over the course of the day right here. I had a really nice move right here, and then sure enough, boom, the thing is really like kind of like picking up right here. Great, great momentum. 
All right. So uh, let's look at a couple of stocks. So that that pretty much does it for Friday. Listen, we had a snowstorm here. It looks like things are pretty uh, things worked out. Now we're going into the Christmas week. You're talking one of the slowest times of the year, which is great because this is the time of the year of the of, for students. We're gonna have the classes. So uh, we're gonna do phase two starting this week, and we're gonna begin at nine at ten thirty five Eastern time. And we're going to talk a little bit more about time and sales. We're going to talk about the depth, strat uh, the depth strategy on reading the tape. Because remember, we are tape readers here at CyberTrade University. So we're going to show you how to read the tape. Very, very important part of the class. You know, everyone keeps talking about fake trades and how do you know these orders are getting executed and who are they? You know, really, that is the most important place and time where you should be in during those classes. And by the way, if you want to find out more, talk to Education Advisor here at CTU, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. All right, so let's talk about what's moving this morning because I guess that's why everybody's here, right? <laughs> I'm not a fan of Monday mornings. I did pretty well actually last week, shockingly. Uh, not spectacular. I mean, it paid you know made, made you know very little better than losing, but I get very get, I get very very careful when you start trading this time of the year. Now, obviously, the market being down, I got some swing trades out there. I'm a little cautious of those, especially what's going on with this pandemic. I mean. Whatever I'm going to teach you, one of the greatest slogans that one of my famous, uh, one of my fellow mentors taught me, Jamie. He said, "Whatever goes up, comes down twice as fast." So, and not only that, but if you're trading something that you made a lot of money in that went up, 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 it's going to go down probably five times faster. So, this pandemic, be very, very careful on your swing trades. Okay, so um, let's go through the watch list. I'm going to start with the B list before we go to the A list. Okay, so let's start with NK. NK, not a great winner. It's up 31%, 600,000 shares. You got a couple of nice, decent orders there on level three. Got an iceberg order right there for 4,000 at 1354. You know, it's kind of holding it up, holding up the show. You know what? We've seen these things pop. And all of a sudden, actually, you know what? I'm going to go back on the bay list because the B list to me is a little boring. I'm sorry about that. Let's go hop on the big one this morning. <laughs> all right. So AGIO. Here's a stock that's up. It's a little expensive. It's 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 probably a category three or higher. I can see there's not a lot of orders out there in level three. So remember the first thing we taught you in, in uh, phase one, lesson one. The first T is tradable. Remember, just because a stock has got you know a nice little move doesn't mean that it's going to be tradable. But if you look at the stock, um, we saw we were watching the stock last couple of days. This is the stock that got hammered. It was on the biggest percentage gainers uh, losers list. Sorry about that. On the losers list, went from forty six, gap down from forty four down to just gap down, just got crushed. Well, guess what? It's back up forty five. So whatever that news was, it could have been fake news. So it brought the stock right back to where it started from. That's pretty cool, right? But unfortunately, we don't own it. <laughs> but um, but be very careful. It's pretty volatile stock. E the one you guys trade this morning. Uh, in pre-market, you guys did pretty decent on it, was at 8 o'clock this morning, we found this uh, EYEG. Stock was about $6, had a really nice push, about 8 Really nice move, up 111% as of now. 9.74 million shares traded. This stock, we traded it back in August. And uh, we know this was a great classic short squeeze. Stock ran from, you know, 350 all the way to 650. You know, a typical, you know, active day trading stock. And then sure enough, you can see how it comes right back down. Right away, call that a short squeeze. But stock is going up pretty decently. You know, it's kind of died after here on 830. really hasn't gone anything. But this, but be very careful. You could see here the momentum of how it's trading, how it's basically in a range about almost a dollar, which is pretty volatile. So just be very careful. The stock has a pretty decent big spread. I'm not too crazy about the size that are out there, but you are you do got a couple of iceberg orders out here. You know, you want to keep an eye on those. So that would remember that's what actually dictates where support and resistance levels are. CLVS is another one that's moving pretty decently this morning that I put on my A list. Uh stock had some uh, unbelievable news. It is sh shot up right here. I don't know what this is all about, but in one minute, but then I find a build up his base right here. Now it's starting to go up nice and easy. Okay. You can see right now we're at resistance levels. You got a pretty decent iceberg orders out here. Some big block, got 20,000 share seller right there. 
So I want to see, and by the way, this is what we're going to be talking about in class today. You see this window right here? This is your time in sales, okay? This is what the telltale window, which tells us where, you know, all of those orders are getting executed or not. Remember, that's part, part of the style of trading. You want to know if people are getting executed, are they not getting executed? So we'll, remember, in class, we're going to focus on that because that is a very key tool. And by the way, if you're watching YouTube and Facebook, some of you that are not students or you're new here at CTU trial, you got to understand something. One of the biggest things that I always kind of like try to educate people that don't know how to trade. Everyone out there talks about the chart, the chart, the chart, the chart. You got to read the chart. By the way, do you realize that the chart gets its data from time and sales? So if you knew what was going on time and sales, then you would know what's going to happen to the chart. So you're basically a lagger, not a leader. Remember, you always like to be a leader. You always want to predict the future, not predict the past, because the past is not indicative of the future. But the only way to kind of have a game plan is you got to use that time in sales. So remember, we're going to be focusing on that. Very important thing. It's called tape reading. Okay. You don't want to miss it. Now let's go hop over here on the B list. CRBP is another one. I want to keep an eye on it. Not really moving too much, but this stock, if you look at it, got hammered. It was from nine. It dropped to two. It was a horrible gap down. And it even went even lower. Stock dropped down to a buck fifty. She's up a little bit today. I like the bottom fish stocks that make a little bit of a recovery on that. It's got nice little tier sizes. Looks like a category one. Looks like more of an algorithm, an algo stock. The reason why I'm saying that, I see some big orders out there on level three. So that's probably going to take a lot to make it move. So that's why I popped it on the B list. BKEP is another one that's moving pretty nicely. It's up 13%, 800,000 shares. Chart doesn't look good. I don't like, I don't like charts that look like this. Okay. When they that that's spotty. Okay. When you see stuff like that, that's like, you know, that's that's just, that's not a good looking way of orders. That means that the that means that orders getting are very delayed, you know, uh, of how they're getting executed. So that when I see charts like that right away, that brings up a red flag. AIM, this one. Like I said, decent push. Stock's been a really fun stock the last couple of days. We've been trading it. You could see the stock already trade 10 million, almost 11 million shares. Nice little push up there from the bottom right here. Sorry about that. I always like to use my little crayon so you guys will follow me along. So stock had a really nice push. It's been going up really nice every day. So it's doing pretty well right there. So keep a close eye on that one. Uh, what else we got? TIC is another one that showed up on my radar. A little bit more expensive. The stock is pretty volatile. You could see that the stock not back in November was around the $10 price range. Has a really big, big run up. She's doing pretty nicely. But the spread here, if you look at it, the bars are pretty wide. So right away when I see those very thick candles, I know the stock is going to be at least in a Category 3 or higher. And remember, what does that mean, a Category 3? That means that... You got to be willing to risk between five hundred and a thousand dollars. You know, uh, if you trade a thousand share lots, it's very, very volatile. It also is very discouraging to get into certain stocks when it comes to that. Now, let's go hop on just really quick. We're almost done here. Uh, I want to bring up Gush. Okay, so Gush is obviously an oil stock. It's an ETF. Oil stocks are getting hit right now. The big thing is you probably you know with, with the coronavirus. Now they're looking new lockdowns. There's a new strain, which is pretty crazy. We're even hearing that. We thought we we're out of the, getting out of the woods. Now we got into another fire. You know, and, you know, it's just like you got to put another blaze out. So what that means, people probably not going to be traveling with airlines. Airlines taking a hit too. Also, you know, think they, they got out of the woods. Air, American Airlines try to back up a little bit, try to make a little comeback. I'm still a fan of airlines, but I'm just saying these things are not looking too well for them. All right. And uh, banks are doing pretty well. So there's our watch list for Monday. Remember, guys, it is a Monday. It's not, you know, you want to be very careful. You always have this news that comes over the weekend. You got some good news with the relief package. They said they're going to probably, the stimulus is coming. And then, but now you got this big strain. There's no safer place than be in your home and be locked to your computer. There's no safer place than being in a cyber group room. What do you say? So I want to bring up one other stock for Norman. Norman on the side group room says, uh, could you bring up the NXTV? What do you think of that? The stock has been a lot of fun. I made a lot of money last couple of days. I traded this stock. She's like starting to become more of an algo stock. That's the issue with it. She looks okay. She's up 9%. I'll put it on the B list, but I'm not putting it on my A list. 
you know, I traded all week last week. You can see how the stock went from 60 cents to $2. I don't like that. That's a 400%, but it's not, it's, it is a NASDAQ national. It's not a penny stock, which is a good thing. So just be very careful of that. Any thoughts on rocket, uh, rocket attack on an embassy of Baghdad? No, Chuck, I, no, I don't have any comment on that. I don't know how that's going to affect the market. I, I'm more concerned about is Europe going to hold and United States gonna hold China accountable for the virus. That's what I'm really concerned about. Okay. There's more and more news that's coming out that China knew about this and you know, they didn't tell about it and someone's got to pay the piper. Someone's got to pay. I wouldn't be shocked if they put huge tariffs on China. It could be it could be a, a, a tariff war that's going to go on. But let me tell you, it's uh, it's costing these countries billion, not billions. I'm sorry, trillions of dollars. You know, some of us might look at a, a, as a as a war is one way of fighting, uh, fight, but money is also could really destroy people. You know what I mean? So I'll be really concerned about that. So uh, let's keep an eye what's going on. We'll be back here at 2.30 for everybody on YouTube, Facebook Live. And then also, please keep in mind, Cyber Traders, when it comes to, we have class today. We'll see you back at 10.35. We'll start that one. Don't miss it. And then just don't get too cocky and greedy today, uh, for the, up, up until the next week or two till we get into the new year. If you see something, just focus on your day's pay. Try not to hit home runs on certain stocks. If it happens, congratulations, but don't focus on it. Good luck. We'll see you back here, and we'll start commentary in less than 10 minutes. Everyone, YouTube, Facebook Live, see you back here at 2.30.